guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm gonna do a rewind spread. So this is the 21st and 27th of November in my um, personal size. So this is the week I was off work. So I decided that I'm gonna. Sorry, I got distracted there. I'm gonna use some washi tape down the sides and I'm using planner face inserts that I printed myself at home and the washi tape I can't remember where I got this from it's quite an old washi tape and it's just got like loads of like emit one ticket movies thing it's like a pretty much a collage washi tape which I really really like and it's a blue and white theme I have actually got tea with me so just bear with me if I start drinking Because it was already pre-planned, it pretty much was really, really quick when I did it. Really itchy here. So I'm just going to use the leftover of my planner face uh, midnight kit um, just to add into this layout as I already pre-planned my New Year's Eve week and my Christmas week which will be coming up soon. I haven't done any pen work in there or anything like that so that's another it's getting warm in this flat. Oh so I just pretty much done a basic in my personal so when it comes to the big Christmas week and new New Year week it will be in more depth in my A5 or large Kiki K so look out for that in the next couple of months if you hear any fans going off it's my laptop fan because my laptop does overheat and the whistling sound if you can hear it is my boiler yes we have a whistling boiler but there's nothing we can do we've had the engineer out and it's just one of those because it's a combo boiler it does whistle so I just put three heart check, uh, three heart checklist. That's a full heart checklist in the Wednesday, and I'm just going to put this um, blue and white washi tape of the London skyline because I didn't have any weekend manner. So I just put this across. So it kind of shows you that it's a weekend. It is not straight. I do apologise, guys. I'm not very good when it comes to straightness at the moment. And then I think we are to buy or something. I do a Monday to Friday, well Monday to Sunday. In here. And then I just put some flowers across. There's no blue in, in this kit, but the blue and the yellow kind of go well together. Um, so that's why I kept it like it is. Um, what else can I say? This is the week I go down to London anyway, and I got myself the new Key UK planner that I am using as my large, which I am in love with at the moment. The brush gold has started to come off some of the dots, but as I use it you'll see that the gold will come off um if you have a look at my time planner up in person you see some of the gold diamonds has come off of it as well so i expect it to come off in time but then again you could probably buy the gold like a gold paint or something for leather and just let a leather paint it into gold I'm sure that will last a lot longer than the brush gold that they use. So I'm using an appointment label for Tuesday. If they put it clean on Monday. Another full heart checklist. Um, it is on the opposite side, it was just that I didn't know what else to put in there, so I just wanted some fake just to give it a bit of a a 
This is where I struggle trying to get it down. <laughs> I have tiny fat fingers, it is hard to do anything with fat fingers. If anybody wants to know, my um, watch is from Disney World. I got it two years ago. And it's like a, the Mickey Mouse's head is like a rose gold. So the actual outside is gold and then there's like a rose gold inside with diamonds around it. I say diamonds, it's not like proper diamonds. I think it's just like the crystals that you can get. It's about $105 it cost me. That's including tax. Which isn't that bad when you think about it. And I'm using my new pen, which is my fantastic piece of my defining pen. To do some filling in. So I just wrote on there, London, find things I want to buy, or where I'm going, I can't actually remember, oh, what's that, that's what I need, tickets and money, <laughs> and then to buy a put planner, um, platform nine and three quarters, and um, I went to Harrods as well for my mum. So now I'm just moving stuff over so I can actually write down what I need to write in. As you all know, on the Tuesday I worked, so I worked from like 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. Oh my god, it messes up the whole entire sleep pattern. And we lost all our night shifts, so it's like I don't know how some people are working the day now. <laughs> But never mind. I think I put it in like it's in as in the sofa. Oh you don't know how happy we are to get this sofa in. Because as soon as they if they couldn't get this sofa in, we would have to go shopping again. And that means we wouldn't have had a sofa till Probably January or February. Yeah, February most likely because it's December now. So it's like literally we wouldn't have had a sofa at all because um, the council were picking it up on Tuesday. Our old sofa, so we were so happy that they were in, that the sofa was in. And the only problem with it being on Tuesday, it absolutely chucked it down in the rain. Same on the Monday when they were trying to get the sofa in. So we were trying to get the sofa, our old sofa out, and we had to put a cover around it because our council will not pick anything up if it's wet. So we tried to get it as dry as possible. But I think they knew as soon as we took it out, it was going to get wet. So they took the old mattress as well, which we put in the plastic cover in. from the old mattress so it was easier so on the Friday I just put chill and then Saturday I put Starbucks, DVDs and pretty much not do anything else so I knew of mum's on Sunday for dinner so I didn't really want to do too much in my planner in this planner because I do a lot more in my A5 now so this is only just a quick little one I don't understand why I've got so much left to do. Just looking at the whole end of it. Ooh. I'm just going to the bank. 
So I'm trying to do three different jobs at once here. I need to move some money out of my account. From that hand to that hand, 150. Back to the back. There we go. I just needed to move the money quick because if something else goes out, I won't be able to pay my car loan, and my car loan needs to be paid. I do all mobile banking and stuff like that, so it's easier for me to just completely and utterly get it sorted so quick so much quicker and everything like that because especially with, your, with my new phone um it's all done by id of fingerprinting which is just perfect for me because do you know somebody won't be able to use your phone and pay for something because it's all done by by my um fingerprint recognition oh just gives me a bit of coolness to it and i'm like yay so that's all sorted. So I'm just trimming the edges and um, the excess off of the washi tape. You should be coming home soon. So I'm hoping I'll get this pretty much uploaded in the next couple of hours. And then do the next couple of videos. I've just done a plan with me of um, the A5 for this week. Sort of like a rewind spread, but not fully. But you'll see it in my next video. And then the next couple of videos I'll be putting up soon. So I've got a. Uh, Six hole punch. So, because it fits my personal vessel, well, I use it to do my A5, but I just used one side and then cut three at the top, three at the bottom, so they're the right thickness. Because I thought I bought the one that you can use it as an A5 or as a pocket, but it seems to be too short for. Uh, an A5, but when you go to the the most the largest part, it's it's all right for a person size. So I'm not too worried. I've got the three hole punch, so it's in the right amount, so you, the right space is out. So I just use do one side and then do the other side. Which I'm quite happy about because it was only it only cost me like six pound on eBay, and you can't go wrong with that price. So that's why I decided to get it. I know it doesn't do the A5, but it works for what I need it to work for. So that's the reason why I still have it. I also got these dividers, the monthly dividers on eBay too, for six pound, and they're a little bit short. But they're so cute, they're all teddy bears. I'm t it's to die for, I'm in love with them. Um, I love it in my little personal mail. And there you go. And there's some little thing I just showed you, which is so cute. Um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Well, also like, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe. Bye!